When we're down here in this hard rock, the granite and some of the gneisses make for a much more resistant surface, and so they rise up. The other thing you can see is if you look real close at the, uh, what we call the foliation of this metamorphic rock, so you can see the line. If you look close to the surface, they sort of get bent over. That's because this was an active weathering surface, and as the clay, as the micas got weathered that are in the schists by the ocean, they get soft and flexible. So you can actually see you've got a weathering surface going on right at the top of this, and it's deforming by the local weathering before it gets uh, buried. Again, more evidence that this isn't a quick event that's going on here. If this was a quick, big, single flood, you would expect a much bigger basal conglomerate with a lot more chaotic stuff in it than this. There's this little thing. A flood of global proportion, and that's the best it can do, is like three inches of conglomeratic stuff before it starts laying down. More typical oscillating cross beds of a beach environment, and that sort of, uh, it borders on the absurdity to actually look at it.